What's up, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a new kind of video. Uh, this is going to be the top five characters that are in most need of some love. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a rework. It just means these characters, while uh, independently OK, don't really have a home and they're going to need a little bit of work in the coming months, either uh, a full team to be released to take advantage of them or a slight change. Now, if you don't know this, during the beta, there were quite a few characters that received reworks, uh, not the least of which characters like Jangles, Zerg, Scar, uh, a lot of characters that were in the game for a while have been reworked. Now, for good reason, uh, this game did go through a uh, change of format uh, in November of 2019. So the game we're playing right now has only really been beta tested for uh, I don't know, four, maybe five months. Uh, and they're learning and they're addressing it. And they've addressed quite a bit already. So these are the characters that I think, not to avoid, but just to maybe wait on investing in until you get a little bit of news regarding uh, a rework or some major change happening. Uh, we're going to start with, I guess, number five, Gaston. Now, Gaston is, is interesting, right? He is a tank that is relatively difficult to kill but he is in no way the best tank um, he doesn't really do great damage uh, even with offense up on his basic he gains taunt and brings the entire team faster which on paper you would go well this looks amazing until you use it and it doesn't actually make too much of a difference because uh if you're on attack if you're using him uh, yeah you get to choose when the taunt happens uh, so on paper of course this is going to work but ultimately he doesn't the taunt doesn't stay on him it's either removed or you've already killed a character before he gets the taunt he's a little slow so it's not that great in in actuality and then his special you know it's an aoe damage deal that uh, might blind the target Oh, I mean, it does, but obviously it goes through a potency check. And uh, even this, he doesn't do damage. So it's fine to have a tank that doesn't do damage. They exist, like Mordu. Mordu does damage eventually one day. Uh, Sully doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's very hard to kill. Gaston doesn't really fill any gaps. Now, again, he's the only Beauty and the Beast character available right now. So I imagine that will change. But if you have a Gaston, and I personally love Gaston, nobody fights like Gaston. I, I just can't bring myself to invest in him, knowing that he's not better than any of the other options, both villain or tank. Uh, number four on this list uh, is Baloo. Now, Baloo, let's take a quick look. He's a support character, so whatever you ask for out of a support character, it, it can't be much, right? Uh, doesn't do an amazing amount of damage, buffs an entire team, which is great for support, gives speed meter if they're Wilds character. Uh, great. Like, again, if you look at a Wilds team and the characters available in Wilds, you may say, well, I have to choose Baloo on the team. The truth is there really isn't a Wilds team right now. The Wilds team is actually the Lion King team. Uh, the rest leftover Wilds characters, they're adequate but they're not phenomenal hopper merida mordu is great but he's just great as a tank it doesn't matter that he's a wilds character so baloo giving offense up to a wilds character meh uh share khan is also really good but he by the time you get him he's a very end game late farm it's unlikely that farming baloo early will make share khan better or worse and a passive that has a chance to restore health. Great. I like it so much that I like it better when it's on Jasmine on a team that is high impact. Um, he he just kind of falls low on all of the stat numbers. And that's unfortunate. Maybe that's because the Wilds team doesn't need to exist right now. Maybe that's because the Wilds team just has the best option already available. Uh, for a long time, Baloo was farmable for... Uh, a very steep cost in one of the exchanges, I believe the club exchange, and no one bought Baloo shards. Uh, everyone unlocked Baloo accidentally, kind of, like through opening random orbs uh, or chests. And 
He just needs something. Again, this could be fixed by implementing a team, but he does feel like a character that wasn't really touched since this game changed formats, and a little bit of attention will definitely take him a long way. Number three is Kronk. I love Kronk. Kronk is crazy. Kronk is a hero character because Kronk is totally a hero character. Uh, and he's got the Emperor's new groove tag, which is unfortunately shared with Yzma, another character that's on this list. Uh, I don't think there's much to say about Kronk. I think uh, he I don't think he's a bad character. I think the reason he is so desperately in need of a rework is because there is another character that is mentioned by name on some of his abilities and same in the reverse on some of hers. And I'd still rather not use either of them than use them together. Uh, a lot of this might just be a scaling issue of stats. And I, I think that's probably an issue of a lot of characters. I think they're missing out. But for a kingdom character, he is the last and least likely character I would ever add to a kingdom team. I think, you know, off the top of my head, Sean Yu, Aladdin, Jasmine, Mulan, Mickey, Robin Hood, Sheriff of Nottingham. Like, there are so many characters that are better than him on the Kingdom team. So we have to remove that tag because it's functionally not amazing. Uh, and then you look at Nebrizu Groove and he doesn't even do great with Yzma. He just kind of sustains her a little bit. He is a defense character uh, without a taunt, I believe. So, which is fine. Not all defense characters have to have taunts but I don't necessarily believe he does enough to defend your entire team. Again, he also doesn't do any damage. So I ask, what does he do? Uh, he waits in line for a rework. Uh, number two on this list, surprise, it's Yzma. She is one of three healers in the game. Uh, four, I guess if you count Rafiki, and five really technically if you count Simba, where his heal also taunts. Um, so you don't get to taunt unless you want to heal, and you don't get to heal unless you want to taunt. Simba's completely a different character. Uh, Yzma is the only other villain healer. She's the only other villain character that has a targeted heal. Um, and it's not great. Uh, in addition, she doesn't do damage. Um, in addition, uh, her effects, you know, reduce each affected opponent's speed meter by 50%. It, it doesn't, <laughs> uh, it doesn't happen often. And again, yes, with Kronk, this ability becomes more readily available, as in it, it happens on turn two instead of on turn three, which is phenomenal, but it's also not important. Um, it doesn't do much. Again, she is a kingdom character and she doesn't benefit on the Kingdom team. She is a uh, new Emperor's New Groove character and doesn't benefit from being with Kronk in a way that makes it meaningful. She is at best mediocre, on average a terrible character, which is truly unfortunate because she is one of the earliest villains you get, and a lot of players may say, well, I have her, I have to invest in her in order to progress in the villains campaign, and that is uh, honestly not very true. You have to invest in unlocking good villains uh, out of the hero's campaign and then work on them. But I'm not saying she's the worst, I just definitely think she's very high up on the list, especially as a character that a lot of players access early in the game. I think she needs a little bit more love. She either needs to be a significantly better healer. If she has a single target heal, it needs to be often all the time and meaningful. And if she has an ultimate that's supposed to hit an entire row and turn rewind them, it probably needs to set him back to the Stone Age if it's going to be so slow before it uh, becomes available. Other than that, I think she's a little bit closer to usable than some of the other characters on this list, but there are enough good villains that you don't need to dig through the bottom of the barrel to find value. And uh, that'll bring us to number one, the character that's in most need of a rework in this game, a character that desperately needs some love, that character is Elastigirl. Um, I'm just gonna leave this right here. Elastigirl doesn't have a passive. Not every character uh, has a passive. Oh no, wait. 
Every character has a passive. Why does Elastigirl not have a passive? Elastigirl is a hero downtown character. There is no hero downtown team. All of the hero downtown characters are Toy Story, which is its own team. And then there's like Scrooge McDuck, Darkwing Duck, all the ducks. The ducks are the uh, hero downtown characters. And she doesn't have a team. The only incredible that's in the game playable right now is Syndrome and he doesn't help her at all. She's not a villain. There, You can see Frozone, but he hasn't been accessible in the game yet. So I would probably assume that there's an Incredibles team coming. In the meantime, though, she's not good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, great, one day she'll be good doesn't make her usable now. So because she's incredibly lackluster, doesn't do a lot of damage, gains no benefit for being present with any other characters except Ariel. She gains a slight health boost. You can do a lot better than putting anything into Elastigirl at all. And I would recommend putting nothing into Elastigirl until something happens, whether it be an Incredibles event that requires her or, I don't know, downtown heroes get a giant specialty character that makes them great. Until that point, you're pretty much just going to leave her on the bottom, which is unfortunate because she's another character that you get relatively easily and for free just for playing the game. Maybe that's a hint. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. But as of right now, avoid using her or any, basically any of the characters on this list. Like the Plague, there are way better characters you can invest in. Do me a favor, guys. Comment below. Well, like, comment, and subscribe. But specifically, comment below and let me know what characters you're using now that you're like, uh-oh, I don't really know how it goes. Now, granted, in the early game, you really don't get a feel for what a character can do until they're like, you know, gear tier four, four star, when you're facing off against other characters of equal power. Very few characters have punch up capabilities. So just let me know what characters you're loving. Let me know if you disagree with any of the characters in the list and you think they're amazing and I'll tell you why you're wrong. And uh, I want you guys to have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli. And I'll catch you later.